Hello everyone, and welcome to video 30, the final video in the Ableton Tips and Tricks video series. I wanted to conclude this series with what I believe to be the most underutilized and underrated feature of Ableton Live is. Now, you've probably thought, well, maybe it's the stock instruments, maybe it's the fact that people don't realize that you have session and arrangement view and how versatile the workflow is, Maybe it's the fact that you can use Ableton in the studio as well as on stage. All of those, I don't believe, are underutilized features. I feel they are utilized just fine. The most underutilized feature of Ableton Live, in my mind, is nothing other than Max for Live. So let me explain. Um, background information Max for Live is a program that was launched after Ableton Live 8 had been created and launched. What the program enables you to do so brilliantly within Ableton Live is create your own instruments and audio effects. And a lot of people do not know that. What I've also done, albeit discreetly, is show you videos of certain things that are part of Max for Live, such as what I'm going to show you now, which is the granulator, convolution reverb, the APC40 step sequencer, never did a video on that, classic synthesizers, this is a glass synthesizer, part of Max for Live. and capture, just to name a few. Let me go back to channel five and I'll show you this. This is a standard window for building a Max instrument. If I click on this window here, this opens up a new window. Build your instrument here. Now this may sound silly, but I do believe that this is a feature that is the most underutilized in Ableton Live because this gives you something that no other program has and that is you can design your own instruments, your own audio effects, and I believe your own MIDI effects from the ground up. Now of course in programs like Ableton, Logic, anything like that, you can create your own presets from existing synthesizers, you can create your own plugin chain if you want to and use that. But no other program, in my mind, sets the standard higher when you want to create your own instrument from scratch, from the ground up. Think about the idea of creating your own original synthesizer, your own original instrument to model something that people may have never heard or never even thought could be worked into an instrument. And it's a really, really cool piece of software. If you have a working knowledge of code and a working knowledge of Ableton and sound design, this changes the game and changed the game in a huge way for Ableton users. By giving users the ability to create your own instruments and audio effects, that's amazing. Not only that, but there is a website, I believe it's maxforlive.com, where people upload their creations and their software for other people to download and test and talk about. So what they did essentially with Max for Live is create a whole new community of Max for Live users creating more new instruments, more new effects for all of us to use. And that's something you cannot even quantify in terms of, of cost or benefits for the entire community. And that is absolutely amazing in my eyes, which is why it is the most underrated feature of Ableton Live. And that all said, that concludes the Ableton Tips and Tricks video series. Uh, to those that have tuned in and subscribed for the last month, I've had a lot of fun. It's been a lot of work, but I've had a lot of fun doing this. And hopefully I will be doing more videos in the future on other things related to Ableton, possibly other workstations that I use, 
other software I use and just couple that all in to audio. So one more time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the studio. Take care.